this is Sherry and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using acrylics I picked up from Amazon, the Model 1's kit. This is the Manny on my left hand and we're going to work on the right hand today. So let's get right into it. Here are the 12 colors here that I picked up from Model 1's. They are all so pretty. I swatched all of them and I'm going to show you the swatches of each and every one of them and I hope that you like these colors. I do recommend these Model 1's acrylic powders. Here are the three colors that I picked out that I'm going to use today. I've got a green, a purple, and a pink, and I've also picked out some glitters, um, green, purple, and pink to go with them. I'll be using my Nail Supply Glamour Odorless Monomer today and my Young Nails Number 12 Acrylic Brush. And also, I'm using the Young Nails Cover Flamingo. I'm going to go in with a thin layer of this color on all the nails first, um, simply because the Model 1's um, acrylics, they are all colored acrylics, so they're not a core acrylic. Um, they, so therefore, they won't be as strong when you have pigment in the acrylic. It, they are not as strong. So you want to put a core powder down first to give the nails some strength. So I'm gonna quickly do that before I get started with the colors. I decided to do a three color ombre and I'm going to put that on my ring finger. I don't think I've ever done a three color acrylic ombre before. I feel like I may have done one with poly gel before, um, but this will be the first time I'm doing a three color ombre. So I was kind of excited about doing this nail. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out or how these three colors would go together, but I was really happy with it in the end.
I did notice a little bit of marbling when I first laid down the purple color. However, as I started to blend it, it did um, blend in really nicely with the pink color and I didn't really see the, or I didn't see the marbling anymore. Um, for the price of these Model 1's acrylics, they are definitely worth giving them a try. Now I am going to go in on my pinky with the purple color and I'm going to do an ombre using the uh, cover Flamingo with that and this came out really pretty. Actually with the ombre on all of them they really did come out nice so these colors I was just so pleasantly surprised and just to know that you can get some nice acrylic colors without having to spend a lot of money is good to know. So uh, Amazon was kind of a, it was a winner. These colors are a winner. Model 1's acrylics, they, they were a winner. After blending in this color so nicely with the um, flamingo, I'm going to go in with the glitter and I'm just going to place this, well I meant for it to go diagonally across the nail but when I first placed my brush down it just kind of went everywhere. I tried to fix it a little bit but it still came out pretty in the end. Now I'm going in with the pink color on the middle finger and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just do a quick ombre. Um, with this pink being so pretty and so light, it does kind of match the flamingo. Um, but in person, like when I look at it, you can tell that it's an ombre. You can tell there's two different colors, but I'm not sure if it shows up really well here on camera, but it did show up. It came out just the way I want it to in person. It just was so pretty.
going in now with the green color on my index finger and I'm just going to repeat the same steps as the pinky and the middle finger with the ombre and the glitter. For the thumb, I decided to repeat the three color ombre that I did on the ring finger. However, I totally like spazzed out here and I did not put the colors in the exact same order because I wasn't paying attention, but it's okay because it still came out really pretty. Now that I have my ombre all together, I am going to go ahead and do a clear coat on all of the nails just to protect all the work that I've just done. I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be back for some nail art.
Originally, I wasn't going to do anything else to the ring finger and the thumb, but I decided to just add some stickers. I am all about stickers. It is quick, simple, easy nail art. You just cannot go wrong. You don't have to draw anything. So I pulled out these pretty iridescent, um, colorful iridescent stickers. I've never used this pack before and I've been wanting to use them for a long time. I thought that the colors would go great with this Manny and I just decided this this is what we're doing today. So this is quick, this is easy. The other nails already have nail art because they've got glitter and this is a great addition to these nails. I decided to add just a little something more to these nails as well. I'm using my Hot Tips Beauty Gel Liners. This is number 24 in the kit and I just decided to go around the ring finger and the thumbnail and just add a border with this pretty gel um, glittery gold color. Going in now with my Hot Tips Beauty Mirror Shine No Cleanse Top Coat. I'm going to put this on all the nails and give it a cure for about two minutes in my lamp. You don't really have to do two minutes. I like to because I just like I just like to make sure everything is cure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys back in the next video. Okay, so this is the final look. I'm going to put some cuticle oil on my cuticles. I really enjoyed this Manny. I thought it came out really good. I hope you guys agree. If so, hit the like button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!